Well, the Decatur Housing Authority agreed to sell land near the Cary Matthews Recreation Center to build a new youth center, but the people who live nearby are afraid the long-standing rec center will be demolished. Our Sedona Meadows was there and spoke with a resident and the city's mayor about the center's future. When it opened, uh, we played uh, morning, noon, and night, yeah, every day. Uh, there was a great group of uh, people that come down to play all the time. Uh, the staff was great. Clarence Holmes was born and raised in Decatur and has been coming to this rec center since he was 12 years old. Now he is 67. According to City of Decatur Mayor Tab Bowling, the center would likely be demolished. Holmes says it hit him. It's uh, like a bomb. You know, um, they be telling you about precision and all that. Uh, most weapons are not precision. Uh, they tap everything around it. Uh, we need to see because this is home. This is home to quite a few people. The center has been inactive for more than a year, and Bowling says the foundation of the center would take a lot to be repaired. The soil is not conducive to um, supporting the foundation, so we don't want to invest any more money in that. We've already invested just in testing alone. So we've got to, the data speaks for itself. And so we're going across the street. Mayor Bowling shares they have plans to build a new Decatur Youth Services campus on the six acre land across the street with a potential plan to turn the Cary Matthews Center into basketball courts. This center has been a big voting location for residents in the area and Holmes is concerned this demolition will reduce their ability to vote. About maybe a third of the voters wouldn't be able to have access to vote because people around here don't have cars. Mayor Bowling says this new youth center could encourage the next generation. We've got to find a workforce and to be able to take those that might have some challenges in school, that we're able to uh, help them become better students, uh, be able to be productive and, and come into the workforce. I think that's ultimately what we're more looking for. And as Holmes stands outside this center, it brings back memories of playing basketball with his brothers. We were great ball players, yeah. and I cherish that. It makes me smile. <laughs> Mayor Bowling and Holmes both agree it's important for residents to attend the city council meetings. We need to start going to the meetings that they have on a regular basis, and we need to not go as one or two. We need to go as a group so that we, they might be able to hear what we have to say and uh, give us some type of answer to uh, what we are uh, requesting. The city council members still need to approve the land purchase. Indicator, Sedona Meadows, Fox 54.